Hi everyone, it's your boy Robert here and today I'll be showing you a really interesting place my family and friends visited together during the Tomb Sweeping Festival of Spring 2022. So let me state the obvious from the get-go. The town or resort you see before you now is not that old. In fact, it was only open to the public in 2018. Construction started in 2013 by the new Huahalian Group and the People's Government of Wangcheng District. So the whole place took about six years to construct and opened on schedule. Now this doesn't mean that the location is a hollow piece of real estate deprived of history and culture. In fact, the site where the new town is built has a history of more than 1,000 years that dates back to the Middle Tang Dynasty, which is also the same architecture that is used for the resort. So, today the place is known as the ancient town of Tongguan. However, during the Tang Dynasty, it was known as Changsha Tongguan Kiln, which was one of only three export kilns in the whole of China for the Tang Dynasty. A kiln is a type of large oven used for making bricks and clay objects hard after they have been shaped. The place is also the birthplace of colorful underglaze ceramics in the world. Like all great places, for some reason, it lost influence of importance and collapsed sometime during the five dynasties. The place laid in ruins and was forgotten to time until, in 1956, it was discovered by archaeologists that also managed to unearth more than 10,000 pieces of cultural relics. Eventually, we all rendezvoused next to the river and set up camp. I immediately launched my drone to scout the surrounding area. There were many cows in the local vicinity, just grazing as they were walking amongst the people's picnic spots. Yeah, the cows are coming. Oh, and there's their shepherd or their owner. Hey, that's too close for comfort. The embankment of the river could only be navigated by SUVs and is not suitable for sedans. We managed to see a few camper vans. The area was great for a picnic, however, because it is not an official public spot, there are no shops or restroom facilities. We brought our own food and supplies and one of our friends brought a canoe. We were the only people in the vicinity with a small boat, which was very useful later on. Hi everyone, we are at the countryside, it's just outside of Changsha, we're next to the river and everybody's coming out for the day to fly their kites and to bring their SUVs here and just park with their tents and their families, just get some sun in, get some good food and good times and this is our little spot where we're chilling today. This is my wife's Jeep, and this is uh, her friend's Jeep. And I'm about to use the bathroom, so we've got this little mobile bathroom here. And basically you can just do your business, and then you can lift it and move it, and then let the next person come. The river we camp next to is the Xiang River, and from the sky I could see an island with some industry on. My friend and I took the boat to investigate further. Yeah, my friend Stewie and myself just rowed this little boat across the river from our camp to this island so that we can check out those machines we saw on the drone earlier on. Yeah, we have a very big bull. Yes, yeah, Stewie, it looks like you work here. It looks like you're wearing a safety vest. But it's actually a life jacket.
You can see there in the distance we have some barges. When we got back from the island, it was my wife and her friend's daughter's turn to go and explore a little. The Xiang River is the deepest and widest river in the Hunan province. The river is used as a means of transporting construction materials such as gravel and sand. So one can find many harbors along the river with varying industries and factories. The place we discovered with the machines is a dock that loads sand and gravel into the barges, which in turn takes the loads up the river. It is no surprise that Changsha and the ancient town of Tongwan flourished as industrious trading powerhouses in ancient times and modern times. It was the first warm sunny day after the long winter, so it was welcomed by everyone. Many people even stayed after sunset. The location attracted people from all walks of life, including this biker group. Tongwan ancient city is not 100% complete though, due to financial problems problems. We decided not to go in because most of the day had already passed. From the sky it didn't look too busy and entrance fee is 30 US dollars or 200 RMB. Tongwan ancient city has 8 museums, 4 performing arts centers, a 3 star hotel, 20 B&B inns, 17 cultural attractions, 4 parent child amusement projects, a 5D cinema and much much more. I think this place is amazing because the scale is unlike anything in the western world and it shows that the Chinese are ambitious and it's good to see an attempt to preserve history and culture even though it's with a modern touch. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.